Hey guys, this is Roman reporting from Loveland, Colorado from the Overland Mountain West Expo. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a little bit of a walk around, show you everything that is here. We're gonna be looking at Toyotas, we're gonna be looking at Unibogs, we're gonna be looking at Earth Roamers, hopefully. So uh, sit back, relax, uh, and join me for a nice walk around video and kind of a, well, get to know what is happening, what the latest is in the overlanding world. As you know, that overlanding world has blown up. So why don't we start with something cool like this lifted expedition? Obviously a lot of lifted Jeeps, a lot of lifted Toyotas, but you don't see very many lifted expeditions. Looks like it's rolling on uh, 35 with a really cool rooftop tent on top of it. It's just a good looking rig. Let me go around and let me, uh, let me look at the front of it, see what uh, this expedition brings to the table. So I can see they've got uh, obviously a built-in winch, lights, uh, solar panels on the roof. Let me kind of zoom in for you. There you go, solar panels on the roof. Uh, uh, and it's, yeah, it's unusual to see an expedition. So uh, this company is called Red Tail Overland. Can I, cli can I climb up there? Are you guys okay? Yeah, please oh, thank do. you very yes, much. Absolutely. Yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, let's see what this looks like inside here. Oh, really nice. Way open. Let's zoom out again, give you a better sense for it. A little fan to cool you off. A nice little bed. As you know, that uh, rooftop tents have become a thing now. And this, of course, is, well, luxurious living. Hey, which one of you guys can I talk to on camera? Is any, any one of you who's like the best on camera? Talk to any one of us. All right, what's your, what's your name? My name is Dustin. Dustin, I'm Roman with uh, TFL Off-Road. How are you? Hi, Roman. Doing great. How are you? Good. This is a little YouTube video we're doing. So tell me about uh, Red Tail Overland. What do you guys do? So Red Tail Overland is a rooftop camper, the first yeah. of its kind, the first hard-sided carbon fiber rooftop camper. So this is a four season camper. It's got heat, it's got solar, it's got the electrical system. It's got dual pane uh, polycarbonate windows. And it's basically just the most secure, the most awesome rooftop camper out there. It's also the only one. Yeah, I was looking at it. It looks like, you know, it looks like the, uh, the luxury five-star hotel of rooftop campers. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so what we're trying to do here is, is take a little bit of that luxury and, and bring it off road just so that, you know, when, when people go out, they can get wherever they want to go, but they've got something really comfortable and really safe feeling when they're out there. Is that why you decided to put on an expedition? Because you wanted something that was kind of in line with what the, what the uh, rooftop camper is? So, so the, the camper is built to go on pretty much any vehicle. Yep. Uh, we went with the expedition because I just think that's what the owner liked at the time. So that's yeah. the vehicle he got. And uh, he had a Raptor previously, so this thing is... It's kind a of Ford, got, a Ford fan. Yeah, he's a he's a Ford fan, and so he's got some like some Raptor additions to this thing, and it's got the twin turbo, and it's it's pretty awesome. Well, I, I love it. I think I think you need to work in like a hot tub. You can get a hot tub in there, you know. I, I don't <laughs> I don't disagree with you at all. Parking at the hot springs. <laughs> exactly. There you go. And how much is one of these guys if you want to get one? Base price is nineteen thousand five hundred. Uh -huh. This one right here, fully equipped, is just over thirty thousand. And can you get them? Are they available? Or? You can get them. They yeah. are available. You can go to our website. We have a QR code on our placards over there, so okay. you can go to the website and you can do a product builder, and you can list out the pricing and, and do all that stuff and then you can go to the website and also put down a deposit if you want to get your production spot locked down where are you guys out of we're out of longmont oh that's cool well, yeah so we're a local company yeah local we should Colorado. we're out of boulder so cool we, sh we should uh, you yeah know, we should talk yeah maybe we should talk and maybe we can get a closer and more you know more up close and personal i'm just kind of doing a walk around today right on. all right well thank you very much i yeah, really, I really appreciate it, it nice thanks guys you. yeah nice meeting you guys have a great show. I'd love to, if you don't mind, just yeah. give you Ty. He's our president and oh, hey. our, our CEO. Hey, Ty. How are you? I'm Roman. Nice to Roman, meet you. Roman, good I'm, to meet you. I'm with uh, TFL. Yeah, yeah, I've done stuff with, back when we were at Earth Roamer, did stuff oh. with, uh, what was his name? Andre. Andre. Did you, yes, did you do that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so you so guys, I did like the HD walkthrough at I remember. Uh, yeah, that, Overland West. I remember that, that video yeah. did really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that was me. And so. now you guys went and kind of broke off and did your own thing, huh? Yeah, yeah we're doing this now. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah, yeah dude. Oh, 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 let's get, I'll, I'll give you a ring and, you know, when, uh, when, when you're around, maybe we can come by the... Uh, your offices or your I yeah. guess, factory and, yep. and actually do a, do a better you know more intricate that'd be awesome yeah yeah, yeah. And cool yeah get all the like the real information that's... you got it right you got it right okay <laughs> all right well thanks dude i appreciate it yeah, I'll, I'll definitely give you a call all right man. all right take care Thank yeah you. you too yep all right let's keep going guys so uh that was kind of the first interesting 
I'd call it a rooftop tent, but if they want to go with rooftop camper, I am absolutely fine with that. Now, as you guys know, uh, one of the big things uh, that is sweeping the hashtag van life world is, of course, the Mercedes 4x4. Now, it used to be that uh, Mercedes would import these from Europe by actually deconstructing them and then reconstructing them uh, back at their Charlotte plant. Uh, but as you can see here, now they are actually built here in America. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're anywhere from you know, two-wheel drives or like 50,000 and they go all the way up to 70,000. Of course, these built-out rigs, and we'll probably go by Storyteller. We had that one. Those are more like 195,000. This looks like it's a Mercedes-Benz of Loveland. Uh, and here's something cool. This is the new color for the Forerunner and for the Tacoma. Now, you may think to yourself, well, they're both lime green. They're not. They're actually different colors. And as, if I remember right, there's only one of these in the world at this point, and that's this one in this color. This is a new, well, this is a 2021. Ah, it's 2022, sorry. It's a 2022 Forerunner. And here, of course, is the new color and new 2022 Toyota Tacoma. Let me show you something cool about this. Tacoma TRD. There you go. Pro. And you may be asking, what's the difference between this one and the outgoing model? Well, besides the color, the answer has to be right here. It's got Tacoma stamp inside of it. So let's keep going. Uh, and hopefully in this little walk around, I'm going to show you the coolest things here. So I'm going to go and uh, pick out what I think is fun and interesting. So let's head over uh, to the GMC area before we hit those giant, I think those are mans actually. Those are becoming really big. We've gone in America from like XL campers to triple XLs now. So of course the new Earth Roamer, we'll go check that out. We'll go check out some Unimogs. Uh, this is our friends over here uh, at Four Wheel Campers. We just had this truck, Andre did a walk around. We're gonna get the truck again to do some more videos with it. I believe Andre's went and towed his boat with that. So we're gonna have a towing video with that, which I can't wait to see. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. Uh, you know, obviously there are different ways to overland. You could do the rooftop tent. You could do the camper. You could do it with the Australian way where you've got the flatbed attached to the camper. But here's one of the things I wanted to show you. And we've got a video of this over at TFL Now. Tommy did a really good walk around with it. But since you're over here at um, off-road, I thought I'd give you a walk around, at least a quick walk around as well. This is a new GMC AT4 that they built out specially for well, overlanding. So uh, I actually like this rig a lot. I think they took the, uh, I think this is right out of right out of the Hummer, these little recovery hooks. Uh, and then they did a Strat Audi. Uh, of course, much more off-roady tires, interior. Now this is important. Keep the branches from hitting your truck when you're Borneo. We don't have the same topographical <laughs> issues here in Colorado, but it's it's become like with the Bronco, certainly it's become a thing now. And then you've got these uh, fender flares. You've got these, I bet you those are like 33s. Uh, of course, gas and water, rooftop tent, the obligatory awning, uh, a deck system, Max Tracks, my friend uh, Matt over there at Max Tracks, he imports those. So you got to have those. A little refrigerator. Uh, and basically, oh, there's your camper. It's really well done. And what the uh, off roading, overlanding rig would be complete without without a snorkel. That's a cool, it's a cool ring. I love the interior. I love this kind of this uh, chocolate slash coffee color interior on the GMC. I hope this bodes well that. GM is actually getting serious about competing in this space uh, because uh, whoever built this, I think, did a really good job. And then, of course, looks like the star of the show over here is a new uh, Hummer pick em up truck. Uh, um, this is uh, a rolling chassis, more or less $112,000 for this guy. It's coming out before the end of the year. And like I said, I think those recovery hooks are the same that are on that GMC. Except that GMC ones are of course red, so of course we have movable roof panels. We're still not sure about the size of the battery. What makes this unique is of course it's all electric crab walk, so both the front and the rear wheel steer 
Uh, there's a little bit of a T-top right there. And then uh, hopefully at least 100 kilowatt hour battery, probably more than that. That looks like a four foot bed, if I'm guessing. And then look at that, let me zoom in on it. Look at that massive screen. Yeah, look at that bad boy, holy cow. That is, that is certainly getting out there. So hopefully we'll have some more up close and personal videos with uh, the new Hummer EV, uh, and stay tuned for that. All right, well, let's keep going. Ooh, I like that uh, Jeep, I like those colors. Those are really cool colors. Um, so I really wanna go explore this expo, but the thing that I'm really hoping to show you guys is kind of the, the rock star vehicle, which I think has to be, and still is, uh, the red. No, not red arc. I'm just reading signs. I think it has to be the earth roar, and that's this way. So let's walk over past the Tacomas, past this Land Cruiser. I mean, look, look at all this. It's quite. Oh, look at that. A RAV4. It's pretty cool. A RAV4 with a rooftop tent. You're going to love that. But I think that there is a. ARB Bronco here. Uh, and you would think there'd be more Broncos, but as you know, Ford is having a hard time delivering Broncos. Uh, so I think ARB has one and it's, yep, it's hiding right here. So let's do a walk around of what, what ARB has done. Hey, so we got an ARB Bronco bumper, ARB lights. I'm guessing that's a Warren Winch. Hi, I'm Roman. Nice I've seen to you on TV lots. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm recording. Yeah, no worries. I'm just giving a little walk around of this of this uh, ARB Bronco. It's pretty cool. And by the way, I bought a Gladiator because of Did you. Did you really? It's over here. Oh, I really you want you, you to look at it. Right, you might I'll, really I'll like by. it. I'll come by. Yeah. It's different than anyone you've ever right, what, seen. What's unique about it? Everything. Yeah? Everything. Bumpers. Yeah? Uh, flares are actually raised. Right, where'd, it's where'd, a desert setup. It's just around the corner to the right of Yamaha. Right, give, give, give me like five minutes and I'll come by. I'll love to talk right, to you. Right, I'll come. What's you. your name? My name's Chad. Chad, I'm Roman. Nice to meet you. Roman, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'll be over there. Thanks. Oh, have We'll check it out. Yeah, so I think Ford actually gave, if I'm not mistaken, ARB this Gladiator, I mean this Bronco, uh, before uh, even they started selling them. So they've had it for a while uh, and they've been able to do their magic on it. So ARB rear bumper, obviously a tow hitch, red recovery hooks. I've got a storage system inside here. Uh, got to have an ARB refrigerator. Uh, yeah, it's a good looking rig, cool color. It's got the old, oh, no. hi there. Got the old, uh, got the old uh, top on here, so they haven't replaced that yet. But uh, you can see it's the ARB edition. And then over here, look at that. It's a Defender with a rooftop tent. And in this world of Toyotas, and I do mean a world of Toyotas, I mean, look around. Uh, this Defender is certainly unique uh, and uh, interesting. Anyway, let's keep going. But, you know, and, and so, you know, we'll keep uh, heading down the road and see what else we can see. But so that was cool. Zoom in a little bit. Oh, let's zoom out a little bit. Why not? Ah, Duramax for all you Chevy fans. And then, of course, many, many vans. But I'm looking for uh, the Earth Roamers. I think they're down here somewhere. This is quite the expo. And I bet you there are uh, a lot of cool... Uh, campers here. Garmin's got quite the setup. An FJ over there. That's a unique. Oh, I like the uh, I like the Toyota racing livery. Let's check it out. I'm like a a bee to a flower. Every time I see something cool, I'm just drawn right to it. Yeah, that is a serious rig. Look at that suspension. Ho ho ho! Yeah, yeah. It's that is uh, ready ready to rock. And by the way, um, I've been noticing these a lot. Uh, these cell phone signal extenders, we just bought one and we're going to test it. So I was reading the comments on Amazon and about half the people said they work like a charm and the other half the people said don't bother. So I'm curious to see if they work not. So we're going to do a full test. We're going to see if they actually extend the cell signal. So, so just hold on to that. All right, here we go. Look at that. Look at that monster. This is the Earth Roamer HD. Oh my God. Uh, where do you even, I can't, words don't, words leave me. 
I, I, am, I am amazed. This looks like a steam engine that was crossed with a Ford in a kind of a steampunk sort of motif. So I gotta go and do a walk in here. Can we go inside? I think so. Yeah, all right, I gotta go inside, check up this the, out. Up the steps. Yeah, 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 for sure. All right, let's go in there and see what what you get when you spend, I'm guessing over a million dollars for this, if not more. Oh my gosh, look at the interior of this thing. You got, uh, yeah, you've got, I guess this is a granite slab, uh, wood, uh, farmer's sink. I'm taking, I guess that's a cooktop, of course, Bosch. Uh, this is kind of uh, shabby chic cabinets, uh, hardwood floors, uh, probably dishwasher, I'm guessing, or a refrigerator. Uh, and then a, a second, we got a rope here, so I can't really go in there, but I can zoom in and show you what the uh, master bedroom looks like. And then over here, let me zoom out. You've got your, sorry, I've got this, I've got this chain in the way, but you've got a full on shower. So, holy cow. And of course, your beverage racks. Pretty impressive in here, main battery. Don't know how many, how big of a battery it is, but yeah, it's quite the, um, quite the beast. Holy canola. Wonder what size uh, tires those are. And do they have onboard air or do you have to change them if you get a flat? Because if you have to change them, I bet you these weigh at least 200 pounds. On the older ones right there, you could get actually a, a, a built in winch so you could winch them down. Uh, but you get your rear winch. I'm sure there's also a front winch. Oh, people are looking inside. What's it look like inside? Is it pretty cool? Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, king suspension, of course. Oh my, I gotta tell you, I'm not a huge fan of rhino lining the exterior of a vehicle. I think that's, uh, in my book, that's pretty ugly. But you do have a front one as well and then because of the music playing here i don't want to go there because we're going to get a copyright strike on this video but that's the old earth roamer uh you know that might be like one size too big at least for me and i know these guys are usually like a million and so i don't know how much maybe six seven hundred thousand and i don't know how much this guy is but uh, it's probably more than uh, the next 10 years of our budget all right you're still here all right, let's show, show me your rig. I hate to stalk you like that. No, 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 let's go look. Let's go look. Yeah, don't put that stuff on YouTube. So where are you from? I know who you are and oh, that's all right. your stuff. And I'm from Grand Junction. Oh, nice. So what brought you here? Uh, so I did the original Overland Expo in Flagstaff, yep. Arizona. I'll yep. go out there next month. Yeah, I'm going to be down there as well. And I've just been addicted to going fast off-road my whole life. So. Yeah. So did you get, is that where you got the Mojave? That's why I bought the Mojave. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like the old FJ. That's pretty cool, too. 100%. Yeah, that thing is gorgeous. Is that cool? Yeah, let's take a walk around. Oh, check it out. Yeah. Look at that. She is so pretty. Oh, my God. Look at that. For sale. Uh -huh. I wonder how much. I'm guessing. I can't even ask. What do you think? What do you think? At least, at least 50, probably more like 70 or 80. Maybe. It's a 45. So, yeah, I think it's the 60s would be my guess. Yeah, for sure. Somewhere in there, yeah. What, what are they it's using really it for? Looks like they're using it to like transport some diesel. kind of diesel, yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, wow. All right, let's see your rig. There All right, go. so it's right here. Oh, this is yours. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. All right, so so Wheeler Industries, is that you? That is my company. My right. name's Chad Wheeler out of Junction. All right, tell me, tell me about your rig, Chad. Well, give me a so walk around. This is uh, my rendition of what a gladiator should be. Yep. So did not you, about did you, rock crawling. Did you do the roll bar? Going fast, 100%. Okay. The only thing bought are tires and wheels. And I, lights in the way. I like I like the fact that it looks like you made it lighter, which is always good. It looks skinny, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does look skinny. Flares are raised up. Okay. Three quarters in the rear. Yep. Um, pushed out three quarters. The front are an inch and a quarter and pushed out three quarters as well. It's been trimmed up in the back so that we get a high clearance rear bumper. Did you do that bumper too? Yes, sir. I like the fact you can tow with it. That's well, nice if you need to. Yeah, it's going to be with about a 13 inch drop hitch. <laughs> this is my thing, and I believe it's a first ever. Um, I call it the Overrunner Bed Bar. Okay. It's three position mountable. It mounts all the way in the bed yep. as a pre runner bar. It mounts up here, which will cross so you can actually use it as a rack to move pipe or wood, long material. And then third, 
it'll raise up to an overlanding rack. Wow. If you're a weekend warrior who wants to go out and not look like the guy driving around with a tent to work every day. Yeah. Homeless is how they look to me. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> that being said, this is what I thought it should be. So I can do a radius bar up here as well and I can then close it to a full topper. That's pretty cool. So which is kind of a first ever done. So you can raise this and then if you want yeah, exactly. to put here, a rooftop put a rooftop tent on it. Yeah, that's really cool. So yeah, it, it so could be you can put different tents on it. Basically this bar Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I'll have a second post that supports it or I can build a radius bar that comes down and ties in and then crossbar Full rooftop did, did you fabricate portable. that yourself? Yes, sir. Oh, nice. Yeah, everything is fabricated by us over at I like, shop. I actually like this too. I like your little license plate bracket. It's pretty cool. I well, like, it's a nice touch. Well, was actually a last minute. I did the bumper and I'm like, okay, where or do we put the light? <laughs> so I do have one light on it and it wires through the, through the tailgate down to the factory location. Um, but it's different. It, it's, yeah, let's look at the front. It, it's something that I believe is obviously based on the Mojave. Yep. I like to go fast. And, I've and got, you put you, you know, put the hammers type. Did you do the suspension too? It's stock Mojave. Oh, it's stock Mojave. There's okay. no lift on all this right. at all. All right. So with the flares raised up, you can see the bracket here and how it's raised. It's yep. actually raised up an inch and a quarter and pushed back a quarter. So you get a little bit more. Um, you get more travel. Clearance. Yeah, and travel. And then did you do the front bumper too? Front bumper. Yeah. Uh, winch skid plate. Um, kept what I call the fangs, yeah. the JLs and yeah. JTs. I kept them, didn't cut them off yet. That'll be the next rendition. But for now, fully cased in and capped. Uh, frame rails, all four sides, boxed, nice and strong, through bolts, etc. All right, so if people want to look you up online, where will they go? Uh, so website under construction, all right. sorry. All right, but, but what, will, what, what will it be? Uh, website will be wheelerindustries.com. Okay. Um, we're out at Grand Junction, Colorado. Okay. And um, yeah, hopefully Perfect. we can do a couple of turnkey breaks for some people. Yeah, I like, I like, I like I mean, that. You know, that's a nice. So Quake yeah. LED yeah, is actually cool. out of Denver. Yeah. It does kind of the Highline mm -hmm. uh, kit. I use their kit, and then I've got a proof of concept type plastic extenders. These will be billet uh, for future use. Nice. But, yeah, all these things will be available to sell, and it's kind of a first time out. <laughs> Lots of industry firsts here. So. Well, well, I wish you luck. I hey, hope, Roman, thank I hope, you, sir. I, hope this gets, I appreciate your time. Yeah, I hope this gets you a little bit of publicity. Thank yeah. you for showing us. I your, thank you very much. Oh, okay, thank you. Business cards. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Roman. Right, you have right. a good day. Hey, hey hold on, hold on. If you're gonna be, I got to give you. Yeah, I'd love. Here, oh, yeah. Here you go. TFL truck, on. yeah. TFL truck sticker. And by the way, the towing. Yeah. So, Comanche over Eisenhower. Yeah, no problem. 50 miles an hour, I crested. Yeah. Towing 5,500 pounds. There you go. Nice. What's up, what's under the hood? Three six. It's just three six. six yeah. And yeah. That was stock though. Yeah. That was without the big tires. Yeah. But that's I'm go. pretty impressed with this thing. It tows uh, better than my Dodge. All right. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I can't walk by uh, a Yamaha booth without looking at the Tenere. Uh, always had a soft spot in my heart. I started as a kid on dirt bikes, and I've kind of stayed on dirt bikes just because. Uh, well, hopefully trees don't go out and hit you but here's a uh, Tenere uh, it's becoming Yamaha's new adventure bike um, I like the color scheme on this one that's pretty cool as you know uh, side by sides of course have completely changed the world of off-roading but we'll leave that for a different video so I promised you some uh, big rigs so far we've only had the earth roamer but let's keep going let's see what else there is to see uh, we've got such a strong aftermarket for all of the off-roading. Uh, there's rigid. Uh, you, if you're at all in the off-road world, you'll know that uh, you'll know that there's so much out there right now in terms of potentially everything you could think of. Oh, Triumph! Yeah, go look at the Tiger. Oh, look at that! My favorite, the Land Rover. Let's see what we got here. Let's check out this bad boy. This looks like quite the rig as well. Hunter MV. Holy cannoli. I have no idea what an Acela is. Is it like a man? It is way beyond my level of knowledge, but let's take a peek inside. Can we take a can we take a look inside? Oh, you guys just, I'll ask these guys. Man. Oh, thank uh, you. I bought my truck because y'all. Oh, did you really? Yeah. I'm Roman. Nice to meet you. Brett. Nice, nice to meet you, Brett. Here you go. I got to give you a... Uh, I gotta give you a 
sticker. Thank it's a you. TFL truck sticker. What'd you buy? Uh, 7.3 Godzilla. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With 4.3 gearing. Oh, yeah. you, you happy with it? Very. Oh, good. So far. Yeah, yeah. And what do you use it for? We're going to use it to pull a 26 foot camper. Of course, yeah. 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 yeah she is a Gen 1 Raptor, and that was pulling it for a while. So. How did the Gen 1 do? Yeah, good. Actually, we watched your yeah. videos. Yeah. I felt a little bit more confident in towing with my truck for a little bit. But it did way better than we expected. Yeah, sure. yeah that, 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 it was at the 6.2? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you'd be fine with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah but but that uh, but the 250 will do much better. Yeah. Much much stronger rig. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna ask these guys. Can I, can I go inside? Can I check it out? Sure. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'm Roman. I'm doing a little video. Nice to meet you. I'm with T TFL Off Road. Tell me about this. This is Hunter R and B. We yeah. make uh, expedition trucks. Nice. This is our uh, last build. It's a a uh, Predator EXP. Just because I said so. Um, has uh, 130 gallons of fresh water on board. Wow. 113 gallons of diesel. So fuel. long, hot showers. Yeah. Sure. Uh, <laughs> where are you guys out of? Uh, Mendo, Nevada. Okay. And uh, tell me, I, I've never heard of an Acela. Is that like a man? Is that a, no, you know? Acela is the company in Montana, okay. Bozeman, Montana now, that refurbishes the ex military trucks. Okay. And basically, they rebuild them as new. It's a new truck, one year warranty. So, what's 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 the truck? What What's the. It's a Stuart and Stevenson. Okay. Um, LMTV. Okay. So it's a CAT 7.2 liter, 330 horsepower engine, Allison transmission, permanent four wheel drive. Uh, this one weighs in at 22,800 pounds, 23 and a half feet long, 12 foot two high, and uh, it'll run 74 miles an hour on the flat, cruise in the 60s. Uh, and, and how much, if you want this? 335,000 as equipped. That seems like a bargain compared to like an earth roamer. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. I'll, I'll pop my head in and check there's it out. A, there's a massive four-point articulating subframe for the serious off-roading. Yeah. Um, CTIS on the tires, you can. Load yeah, I see. I see that. Yeah, right. Yes. So you can uh, air them down or air them up from the cab um, for technical terrain. And what's okay? I, I gotta ask. What's the fuel economy? Uh, these guys got eight point four miles. That's really good. In. Yeah. Hundred yeah. gallon tank, so it's like eight hundred miles. Wow, mm -hmm. a range, eight hundred miles of range. All right, let, let me take a pop inside. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, yeah, I appreciate it. You. Yeah, thanks. Uh, all right, let's look inside this bad boy. So yeah, it's an old military truck that they've converted to, obviously. Ow. Yep. Didn't watch my head. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh yeah, there's a pasture even. So yeah, it's pretty cool in here. Uh, I think, if you look at me, it's a little, uh, a little short for me. But otherwise, uh, if you want to go off-roading and you want to do it in an ex-military vehicle on a budget, this seems like the way to do it. All right, didn't fall, that's always good. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Yeah, there you go. So I would say, in terms of just regular trucks, Ranger is here, but definitely the off-road world is still mainly or largely uh, Toyota based, a Ford, but uh, Toyota Tacoma seem seem to be the uh, the go-to rigs if you want to go overlanding. That's pretty cool. Looks like an aerial atom underneath, maybe something like that. Hey, I love your show. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. It's great to have some some TFL people here uh, checking us out. Of course, you know, these new overlandy trailers are really big. A lot of, uh, a lot of different companies making them. I think this is the Boreas. Is this the Boreas? Yeah, Boreas. This, these are our friends. Uh, they're out of Denver. We've used this one uh, for our tow test. If you ever watch our Bronco tow test, I believe this is the one that we used. On these campers, uh, trailers are like... Two thousand, two and a half thousand pounds. So you know you can get a crossover to tow them, uh, and of course with the off-road tires, the suspension, and the setup, uh, they're kind of following in a lot of ways what Patriot did in Australia, but with an American twist. But you can see things like you've got your outdoor shower here, instant on heat, so that if you are taking a shower in the great outdoors, uh, you're not getting cold. Let's go over to our friends over here at Rider Justice. Howdy. 
Howdy, I'm doing a little live video. You're roaming around I'm roaming around. Yeah, good, yeah, good, good to see you. Hey, good if you guys, you. if you guys watch our uh, bike channel, you'll recognize Rider Justice. Hi guys, uh, big a, fan, a friend of ours. So, how's the expo going for you? It is going great. Yeah, we're meeting so many great people and having such a great time. As you can see, I'm a fan of overlanding myself. I can see that, yeah. And uh, in the motorcycle community, it's been so great with the moto community and everything. It's just been great. So give us, just tell us what you do. So I am a motorcycle lawyer here based out of Denver, Colorado. We're spreading across the country. I celebrate the bike life. We celebrate the community. We do uh, events. And then we also try to change laws to make them safer for everybody on the road. Yeah, yeah, and uh, he uh, supports our channel, our bike channel, which is uh, great. So yeah, I got to tell I you, we, uh, Case uh, just brought home uh, the new BMW. What is it? The uh, the big uh, bagger. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude, yeah. that thing is eight hundred. No, it's nine hundred pounds. <laughs> Yeah. I can't even get my brain around that. I know, yeah, I know. It's it's incredible. So if you go over to the bike channel, you'll see Casey's review of that review of that. But we just got it at the studio and I can't wait to actually ride it. It's this yeah. I mean, you know, horizontally opposed boxer. Yeah. That, that's like I'm doing my hand thing, but it's you know yeah, just yeah, big, yeah, yeah, like that. Way, that yeah, big, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out there. yeah. yeah. yeah that's awesome. So what what would people come to you for? If, if they've had an accident or what kind of thing? Yeah, mostly they come to me for yeah. motorcycle collisions, you know, accidents, things like that. But we also help what I'm doing today in particular. It's also trying to tell people the right kind of insurance to have. So yep. God forbid something happens, you're covered. You know, so, that's the most important thing. So what is the right kind of insurance? Right kind of insurance yeah. is underinsured motorist coverage of $250,000. Okay. Uh, is the minimum that I want you to have. Because if somebody hits you and they're not insured yeah, and yeah. you're at the end of a hospital, that's going to get very expensive very that's quick. That's exactly right. And in Colorado, two-thirds of the drivers are underinsured. A third have no insurance. Wow. So the only person to protect you is you. Okay. And the website, if they want to check it out? It's uh, riderjustice.com. Thank you. Thank you. Good seeing you hey, again. Great seeing you right. too. Huge right. fan. Oh, thanks. Guys. Thanks. Bye, guys. There you go. If you're looking out, uh, doing a little bit of motorcycle, look at this build. Holy cow. Sorry. I get, I'm like a kid with a, in a candy store. I get easily distracted. That is a, certainly an interesting build. Big old rooftop tent. And uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like a giant jelly belly, doesn't it? Alexis. Alexis, of course, is the uh, other way to go off road if you're uh, you know, not wanting to spend the money on a Land Cruiser. You can go get yourself a GX or an LX. Uh, and those are, of course, great ways to get into the off-road world, especially used without having to play Land Cruiser prices. Now, I've been pushing Toyota to bring the new Land Cruiser in, but so far, no luck, guys. So, there's a new Land Cruiser 300 Series in uh, the world. Hey, guys, how are you? Good, how are you guys? Good, you having fun? I am having a hoot. High Country Performance, man. Tell me about High Country Performance. What do you guys do? Where are you, where are you from? Uh, we're in Inglewood, Colorado. Yeah, I'm Build, from. Build uh, trucks and Jeeps, obviously. Yeah. This is our Super Duty right there. I love it, man. Heck yeah, 2019 on 40s with a Carly four and a half pin top. <laughs> so yeah, we get to, uh, we use it, uh, it gets daily driven, and then like, are we got a sweet tail? You gotta check the tailgate out if you really want to see cool something. Oh, let's see. Heck Let me yeah. see. Yeah, that's pretty badass. Don't mind uh, our, our staff's lunch, <laughs> but we have a kitchenette back here. So. Oh. Uh, the, the CEO Brady actually designed this, made it with a kitchen countertop for us. We got a built-in sink here I'm, with a road shower that we can pressurize I, I have, using our CO2 from Power Tank. I have never seen a built-in kitchen yeah, with a tailgate. It's, it's so cool. cool right? Yeah, that so is so cool. He essentially found an RV Dometic stove, took yep. out the internals, yep. and a work tailgate. So this isn't the factory one, um, but it was able to drop this in. The only thing that doesn't stand when we drive it is take the grate out, and everything folds up, clears the deck system, and all the other goodies that are inside here. And, and I take it this is gas, right? It is. So we actually have our propane run across over here. We yep. have a fire extinguisher right here. You never know when you're going to get a grease fire going on. How about the water? Where is the water? So the water is yeah. run off of our road shower. So on the other side of this, yep. of the, the build out over here, we have the road shower. So you can take an exterior shower. We have a Y in there so we can run into the back so we can clean our stove. Um, but essentially, we just pressurize it using our CO2 tank. Um, we got the, the rooftop tent up here. You know, who, who needs four seasons when you got a Super Duty? Right, exactly. And then we have the, the pressurized water for the stove. We just have it drained down. Sure. Typically, we'll run a, yeah, a line not? out away from the camp. But yeah, why not? Kind of everything's in one. It's great because we can take it overlanding, have fun with it. It's a very, very capable rig for how big it is, and it still tows. So we have the shop Jeep, my Jeep. Um, it's nice to load them up, go to Moab, have home base, go fart around with the Jeeps, put them back on, and then just come back, and everything is here. For you. Yeah, it's a really cool rig. Thank you for sharing it. No worries, and if man. people want to come to you, what's your yeah, website? So, uh, what's it? What's your website? Uh, it is hcp4i4.com. Okay, oh, yeah. there you go. Guys, if, awesome, you, man. If, you, if you want a cool uh, 
HD truck. This, this is the one to do. All right, see you guys. And how much would this cost? Um, how much? A full build of this yeah. magnitude, yeah. anywhere between about 150 to about 175. Yeah. Full build. Um, we started with a really base model Ford, and then just threw every bell and whistle at it. Okay, fair so. enough. Fair enough. All right, thank hey, you. Have thank a wonderful you. day. You too. Well, there you go. You're a Super Duty fan or a dog fan. Look at that. Yeah. You're gonna love that. Oh, look at that across track. Love our little cross tracks. Hey guys, are you, are you with this cross track? Is this yours? I'm doing a little video. So, I'm Roman, by the way. Nice to meet you. Bruno. Nice to meet you, Bruno. I, I, I take it you're doing the wheels and the tires. Tell me about them. So, our name is uh, Micro Vehicle Solutions. Yep. We uh, manufacture wheels for Subaru Outbacks, Cross Tracks, Foresters, and Toyota Rav Fours. <laughs> I see both, yeah. So, you got 15 inch, 17 inch, and then we also make uh, lift kits. Yeah, tell me about the lift kit. How much, like an inch or two? Uh, it depends on the vehicle, yeah. but it, most of them are two inches, yep. two inches in the front, inch and a half in the rear. And then um, the older Forester right, does an inch and a half lift kit. So, um, you know, Subaru is known for having 8.7 inches of ground clearance, I think. So you're getting another two inches mm -hmm. on top of that. So you're at like 10 point, 10 and a half. Yeah, yeah. right around right there, 10 and yeah, a half inches. Yeah. So we're going ground and clearance. And then, the, of course, the wheels. Tires, yeah. And then these are our wheels right here. Where, where are you guys out of? We're out of uh, Chino, California. Oh, nice. Okay. And uh, how much would like, you know, a lift and the wheels cost i mean the tires obviously you put on whatever you want uh, well our lift kits are 250. that's so very reasonable really cheap yeah, yeah. compared to everybody how, else how hard do they install i'm sorry how hard are they in to install two hours two hours super easy okay it's three bolts at at the top two yep. bolts that connected to the uh, knuckle pull them out you bolt on the uh, new stretch spacer back in it goes and about two hours you'll have it ready wow yeah. um and then how does it do with the ride and how does it do with the fuel economy because that's how i'd so, be worried about that you know lifting yeah it. you'll worry about it but yeah. it really doesn't affect it at all if anything you might notice like mi minus one mile okay per gallon. so, so I, I think the cross crazy. tracks like in the 30s right yeah MPG. and then it all depends on what size tires you run also yeah. you could stick to the factory stock stock yeah, how big could you go um uh, on this one here we're running a 215 75 15 i want to say so 15 inch yeah yeah and then this one's running a 245 65 17 so and can you get like um you know all-terrain tires in that size i guess you can you got yeah, them on this there is a Toyota Toyota, yeah. three that one's running nitto uh terra grapplers so yeah you and, can get, you get and, and have you tried off-roading them how do they do they do really good yeah yeah they're yeah. actually pretty fun being all-wheel drive yeah. i mean you, you would think that it's just a little cuv and it's not going to get anywhere right. but they're actually pretty capable yeah, yeah, we we, we bought we bought a cross track. That's why I'm interested in it. And so I, I don't know what we're gonna do with it yet. But I think our plan is to actually do something like this and then take it to Moab and see how it does. Okay. Obviously, the the you know the Achilles heel is the CVT, but yeah, but yeah. if you can get past that, secret X mode. That's yeah. That's everybody's <laughs> concern, right? Everybody's concern is that. Well, I mean, if you're building something, we sure we could work something out. Oh, thanks, dude. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with uh, TFL uh, Off Road. Uh, we have a very popular YouTube channel. So TFL truck is pretty more popular, but anyway. Yeah, TFL truck, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I have to get a business card from you. Yeah, I would, but I'm filming. Oh, I'll take yours. I'll take yours. Yeah, yeah I'll, shoot you, I'll shoot you an email. Email, yeah. text, phone call. Yeah, I've got only about 30 million people a month watch your stuff, so. Cool, all right. <laughs> all right, <laughs> have all fun. Right, okay, bye. Are you with? Um, the fast lane truck, fast lane car, yeah. Retrieve. Fast lane truck. The fast lane truck, the fast lane car. It's CFL, so if you go to YouTube, you'll find us. I was telling him we got a pretty good size audience. Oh, yeah, so thank you very Perfect. much for thank sharing you. the uh, Subarus and your lift with us. Right. Appreciate it. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what we got here. What size tires are you on? Oh, excuse me. See, hi guys. Good. Who are you guys? Yeah, nice. To, oh, I saw you know who I am. That's nice to meet you. Who are you? I'm Roman. I'm Delia. Nice to meet you, Delia. I mean, oh. so tell me what you got here, dude. Oh, all aluminum skid plates. Yeah. Uh, they are uh, manufactured out of Israel. Oh, nice. Um, wow. Yeah, and we uh, we cover a lot of uh, different manufacturers. Okay. Uh, something that's uh, kind of unique that we have right now is the uh, the Dodge 3500 diesel. Wow. We have skid plates. Yeah. Skid plates for that. For the Cummins. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, and so yeah. I take it these are probably what Toyota skid yeah, plates. These are all Toyota yeah. Tacomas, yeah. and then uh, we also have a nice little mirror. You can kind of see how the mounting system works. It's all bolt-on. Uh, I have a Nissan Xterra yep. that I run with the with the uh, Xfer skid plates. It looks light, which is nice. Very light. Yeah. How and much? How much? Like, would I take it the transmission skid plate? How much would that weigh? That's that one. Twenty pounds. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. 
And how, how did you, I mean, it's interesting that you're out of Israel. How did you start in Israel? Is there a big, oh, is there a big overlanding off-road world in Israel? Yeah, so there is a big overlanding community and market in Israel. Yeah. Uh, the fact of the matter that we started uh, after a military experience as oh. combat drivers, we took that experience and knowledge and took it to the civilian market. This is why it's all lightweight, super sturdy, and all complete bolt-on. So it will be easy if you need to change something. And, so, so it won't protect you against an improvised explosive device, but if you're out in Moab, I take it it'll be it'll protect your transmission. We run these skate plates on our Nissan Xterra. Yeah. Name the trails that you've done in Moab. Still been there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You've done some serious stuff. So, so if people are interested, asfir.com, right? All right. Products are there, uh, shipping times, prices, it's all there. We also have Instagram and Facebook and email. You can contact us forever. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Have, have a great show. You too. Okay, bye guys. All right, I'm going over here, seeing what else is back here. Let's kind of cut around here. Of course, one of our sponsors uh, on this channel, Onyx Off Road, if you guys are interested in going off road and you're new. For instance, you've maybe just got yourself a new side-by-side -side and you're not sure, you know, where you're going. Onyx Off-Road is great. What basically Onyx does is what they'll do is, well, it, what do you guys do? I'm just going to tell them what, but you, you could kind of show them better than I can yeah. say. Yeah. So Onyx Off-Road, we do a mapping app over here. Uh, cool thing with our app is it simplifies finding trails. Um, as you can see on here, uh, blue and green trails will be your feature trails. Those will give you difficulty rating how long the trail is, all the valuable information that you would normally find in a guidebook, and then as well as a write-up and some photos. You can do offline maps, so if you go out of cell reception, you can save a map of an area, go out of reception, still track and research the trails. Uh, another cool feature of the app we like to tell people is tap the map. Anywhere on the map, if you tap it, it'll actually give you information. BLM land is also filtered on here. Uh, National Forest Land. Um, you can segment by ride type as well. So you can do snowmobile mode or you can do dirt bikes and filter the trails to the ride type. Just a lot of features packed into this thing and it's $30 for a premium. And then if you want private land parcel data, uh, that is the elite level and that runs about a hundred bucks. And I think if you use uh, uh, TFL as your discount code, you get a discount. So, yep, that so, is true. <laughs> so, you so definitely use that. And you can, of course, also have it on your phone, which is great. So if you're off, uh, out of service, you can load the map in there and then you can have yep. it. Uh, so if you're new to off-roading, if you're an expert at off-roading, uh, check these guys out. They're great. We use them all the time. Uh, and, you know, one of the hardest things about uh, going off-road is getting lost and you guys keep that, that from true. happening. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Uh, oh, look at that. A Bronco. Next to a Gladiator. I guess this is the uh, tire area of the expo. But yeah, that was kind of just a quick walk around uh, to show you uh, what's going on here. Uh, before we wrap this up, uh, let me kind of head over to our other friends at Storyteller Overland. Uh, they lent us one of their vans. If you guys are into uh, hashtag van life, uh, these guys uh, do a really great job. Not only do they build out Mercedes, but they build them out uh, with off-road gear so you can get, you know, the best suspension, the off-road tires. You can get it all in one package. Uh, and let's take a quick take a quick walk show you some of their vans i believe we actually had this guy when we deployed the monkey if you watch that video me and tommy actually took i think it was this guy took it and uh did the white room trail in it uh and it was really fun uh and really capable and i gotta tell you my favorite feature of the storyteller overland and i know this is not unique to them what is unique to them of course is the power supply they have a very big battery but i love this the refrigerator when you're off-roading uh, a refrigerator is so nice. Uh, this turns into a bed right there. There's your second bed underneath the storage here. Of course, you can turn these around and just live out of this uh, van, but the uh, battery system is unique. Uh, so you can go off the grid for days on end 
Are you a storyteller? How's it going? Yes, I'm Roman. Nice to meet you with the Fast Lane truck. Hey, Roman. How are you? Hey, Very well. Yeah, hey, Andy. How big is your battery? I was just telling them one of the great things is you can go off the grid for a long time. You can. So we have a 12.4 kilowatts of usable energy in our battery. That's a lot. That's like, a, it's like an EV. <laughs> It really is, yeah. It's actually an automotive grade battery. Uh, it's, a, it's a lithium ion battery. It's nickel manganese cobalt. It's the chemistry componentry of that battery. It's built to last 20 years. You can run your AC unit between 10 and a half to 12 hours off grid before you need to crank your vehicle and drive it to recharge your energy source again. And I noticed some of them also have solar panels, right? So you can also all use... Of, yeah. All of ours have solar panels, yeah. but I mean, we have 12,000 watt hours of energy and uh, or 12,000 watts of energy, yep. pardon me, and there's 90 watts of solar up there. Okay. So you're talking about a small trickle charge. Yeah, I know, I know. You, you need to have like this giant deployable solar panel that's like bigger than the awning. You have to have at least 1,800 to 2,100 watts of energy to recharge that system. There's just not enough real estate. So, so you run it off the diesel? Yes. And these are diesels, by the way? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh -huh. yeah. And they're, of course, Mercedes four wheel drive vans with a low range. So if you do want to go off road, you can put in the low range. And yeah, and it's, it's super easy to do it. It's never the same setup every time. And so, uh, yeah, you can go four by four high, four by four low, and of course you can run four by two down the road. And when we had ours, I love the fact that you both had an inside and outside shower. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that is really Howdy. cool. What's up? Roman, nice to meet you. Yeah, I saw your yeah. Bronco out there. Oh, you saw my Bronco, yeah. yeah. I, was like, I was like, TFL's out here. I knew, <laughs> I saw it, I was like, that's the only people I know that have that Bronco. Yeah, we got really lucky with that. Super lucky. Yeah, we're actually taking it. Uh, yeah, I'll trade you, by the way. What do you get for a storyteller? <laughs> that not that's not a bad trade. I was just talking to my friend Chris, uh, who's with uh, Onyx Off Road. He has one of your vans. He's really happy with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Chris, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's taking it down to the Fe uh, no, the Santa Fe um, uh, Expo. So he's driving it down there. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, he's he's just. What a great guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, you guys got, you know, some of the best bands in the industry. It's great. It's great to see that you guys are doing well. Uh, and what's your most popular color? We, I think we had that one, but I'm kind of, really, I kind of like this, man. Yeah. It's the most popular unit out there. And, you know, I'll say this. Everything that we do at Storyteller, we do as a team. Yep. But the other thing that we do is we listen to what the community is asking for. And so the... We've all been very surprised at how receptive the whole community has been to our product, and it's been very humbling. How how long of a wait? <laughs> Maybe. It depends. Let's the chase. It um, I'll answer that question like this. Right. So it takes us five days to turn a 2500 4x4 144 high roof sprinter yeah. into a storyteller, and then within 48 hours after that, after it passes through QC, um, it's then put on a flatbed truck and delivered to one of our 53 dealer locations across the country. Some of those dealers are out 11 months. Some of those dealers are out 16 months. So are you looking at a year, ish? Well, and you know, you got to. I always, or I encourage everybody, call around, reserve your spot today. Yeah, if and that's if this is what you want to do. Yeah, and then of course, price-wise, I think the one we borrowed from you is like 195,000. Is that? Uh, are we? That's yeah. The one that you guys yeah, I figured. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number 30. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we utilize uh, see-through pricing. The classics 149, 748. The Stealth is 154, 454, and the Beast Moose 189, 743. And that's the one, of course, with all the off-road goodies. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It. It's funny, when I... Um when, when you know when I first drove a Sprinter four x four Mercedes because of the chicken tax, right? They used to build them in Germany, yeah. then they would disassemble them, put them in two containers, ship them to Charlotte, yes, and yeah. then they would put them back together in yes. Charlotte, and they would call that building them, right? Yep. But, but now they actually have a real factory, so yeah. yeah, it's really cool. Assembled in Charlotte, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, good seeing you. Yeah, Thank you very much. You, yeah. yeah, nice seeing you guys. Good luck. Have a good, great show. Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank. Thank so thanks. Good seeing you. Yeah. And if you want to trade, let me know. You know. I don't know if I trade. I love the van, but that Bronco is pretty special right now. It's way of the year, though. All right, let's go look at these uh, final big old triple XL overlanding rigs. I'm kind of curious, uh, and then we'll wrap this up. I'm going to try to keep this video. Oh, my God, look at that. A Toyota four-wheel drive Previa. Do my eyes deceive me? Is that really a Previa? Oh, my God, somebody did a Previa? No, it's not. It's a Mitsubishi. Oh, I was wrong. Oh my gosh. A Mitsubishi. I thought it was a Previa, but it's probably, is it? Yeah, it's a right-hand drive. So it's got to be a JDM import. Uh, yeah. Wow. These are really becoming popular. We just did a, a video series with a little um, sandbar, which is a tiny little Subaru van. Uh, we've taken up uh, Cliffhanger 1.0 uh, and we compared it to a Delica. So you guys will be uh, looking forward to that over on this channel, TFL Off-Road. 
Uh, and yeah, that's pretty, pretty darn cool. Howdy. Hi, Hi I'm doing a little video walk around. Uh, it's, this one's for sale, I see. It is? Tell me about it. Are you the one person to talk to? Uh, I'm Roman. Sure. Hello. Hello. Having sorbets. Oh, good. I won't bug you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a global expedition vehicle. Uh -huh. Patagonia model built in 2018. It's a 2019 Kenworth chassis, 19 and a half foot long Patagonia body. For sale, $545,000. We have it on consignment and it's a gorgeous truck. It is. I invite uh, you to step in and take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what's the, what's the truck underneath you said it was a what Kenworth. okay all right all right and like how big of a gas how big of a gas tank and what's the engine it has two 80 gallon tanks so 160 that's big mm -hmm. and what's the engine uh, uh pack r a cummins six seven okay all right all right well let me take a look inside thank you very much i'll let you finish your ice cream i apologize oh my god global expedition vehicles i am out of my depth when it comes to these uh giant vehicles but in true american fashion howdy Oh my gosh, look at that, you got a washing machine. This is, uh, and of course you've got your conditioner, your soap. <laughs> I don't know what the third one is. What's the third one? What's your third dispenser there? You know? Uh, soap, shampoo, and conditioner. Okay, you got all three. And then air conditioning right there. Is this your rig? Customer. Trip. Customer, oh, it's beautiful. Where are you guys out of? We're out of Springfield, Missouri. Okay, nice, nice. And have you taken, has your customer taken this off road? Yeah. It's got 30,000 miles on it. It's huh? used, used chassis. You, they've had it, we built it for them three years ago. Okay. And now we're selling it. So, so the, the people who buy these kind of much more off roady rigs, right? Uh, do they want something that they can take kind of where the road ends? So, you know, there's a lot of snowbirds yeah. that are yeah. buying. Rough road, yeah. bad roads, and, and then bad weather, bad inclement uh, conditions. Yeah, because if you pull up, you know, with this at the local KOA, people are going to be like, Oh my God! Our customers usually don't go to KOA. I figured, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You Have a good one. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Let's see if I can make it down here without hurting myself. This one's a little easier to get down off of. So there you go. You got half a million dollars. Uh, this Patagonia uh, Global Expedition Vehicles is for sale, uh, and there's another, another even bigger rig over there that is not open. Uh, so guys, thank you uh, very much uh, for joining me uh, here uh, at the Overland. Uh, Mountain Expo. Uh, as always, uh, it's been a hoot, kind of giving you a quick walk around uh, and showing you some of the really interesting vehicles here. Uh, and remember, if you want to get all of our videos in one place, uh, check out tfl-studios.com. Uh, we've got our podcast up there, we've got our videos, and of course we've got our four websites, uh, which you know mainly specialize in news. So we've got all that uh, in one place for you, tfl-studios.com. Uh, and uh, coming up on TFL Off-Road, we're going to have uh, a really interesting video where I, Tommy goes and compares a sandbar to a Delica. Uh, and uh, that's coming up soon. All right. Once again, Roman reporting for TFL Off-Road. And look at that, a little ground with off-road tires. How cool is that? I didn't know you could get off-road knobbies for a ground. It is a gram, right? Tell me it's a gram. Tell me I'm like, well, S-E-I? Maybe it's not a gram. Anyway, it's cool. As always, it's Roman saying thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Ciao.